President Biden rolling out new Title IX rules with more protections to LGBT students, but he avoids addressing transgender athletes. Our next guest says the new regulation threatens decades of advancement for women. You know her well, OutKick contributor and former NCAA swimmer Riley Gaines joins us now. Riley, I, I read the administration's explanation for these Title IX revisions, and it confounded me. Here's what Miguel Cardona had the audacity to say. These final regulations build on the legacy of Title IX by clarifying that all our nation's students can access schools that are safe, welcoming, and respect their rights. So according to the Biden administration, pushing women out of women's sports builds on the legacy of Title IX? I mean, help me understand. Exactly. That's exactly what they're saying. They're saying all are welcome except for women. Uh, this is the most asinine, really, I would say the, the most anti-woman, anti-reality pursuit we have seen from this administration thus far. Um, it is something that not only abolishes women's sports as we know it, this would allow men in women's locker rooms, bathrooms, changing spaces. Uh, this would potentially allow men to be housed in dorm rooms with women. And this would compel our speech. Uh, students and faculty would be forced, required, to use preferred pronouns. And if we don't, or if you, a 17-year-old girl who's randomly housed with a male in your dorm room, if this is something you go to your administration and, and express your discomfort with, under these new Title IX, this new proposal, this new rewrite, you would be guilty and charged with sexual harassment. Not the man parading around your locker room. No, to President Biden, that's considered brave. That's considered inspiring and stunning and whatever other virtuous word he wants to use. <laughs> but you calling a spade a spade is grounds for sexual harassment. You know, I read a Washington Post KFF poll last year, and it was on these transgender issues. And it was astounding, Riley. I look at a lot of political issues, and a lot of them are 50-50 or, you know, 40-60. These were astounding. I mean, to the tune of more than 60 percent saying they do not believe biological men should compete in women's sports. Do you get the sense across the country that people are with you on this issue, regardless of party identification? Of course I do, uh, which is why, honestly, I was mind blown that he pursued this in an election year, honestly. Um, but the way he did it was pretty strategic. Uh, you mentioned leading up to, to this hit that he has a separate rollout for sports. Basically, what he was doing was winking at, at normal, sane people saying, hey, we're with you, but also winking at the progressive left saying, hey, we're with you. In doing that, really standing on the fence, we know that this is a way to alienate both sides. Uh, so, of course, this is an issue that 90, I would say 95 percent of common sense everyday Americans, of course, parents, coaches, medical professionals, female athletes themselves, they see this happening. Uh, and, and this certainly turns them away. This really isn't a battle of red versus blue. Uh, really, what this is, is, is sane versus insane, really moral versus evil. Well, Riley Gaines, you have been on the forefront of this issue, fighting for women across the country, people like my daughter, who I hope is in women's sports one day. So thank you very much from a mother. Uh, and I know you speak on behalf of a lot of women. Well, thank you, Kaylee. Be sure to tell your daughter I say hi. I will. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilney. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.